Okay, everyone, welcome back to Bez of Frat here at Shira David, Bo Hashem. I wish everyone a, a, a Shua Tov, and of course, a good Vach, and I hope everyone had a wonderful Shabbos. Okay, um, we're learning the project that we're doing, our Sphere project, and we're in the Safe of Svarat and Lachem, written by Rav Frisch, and... Uh, um, we, we'll catch up on, we had, uh, we had, uh, oh, Shabbos was the 25th day, right? So Shabbos was the 25th day. So let's see, and that was Netzach Shabbat Netzach, right? That was the victory of the victory, eternity of eternity, right? Beautiful Mida. Okay, here we go. Let's see what he says today. So on the, on, on the day of Netzach Shabbat Netzach, he's the other Medatai, Bikare Yamuna. Oh, good morning. We just started. Person has to be misbinding on the main points of his emuna. Does he understand what he understand of his emuna? Our emuna. We have to think about our emuna. Do we really believe in Hashem? And you can give ideas and different ideas. And again, if you recognize hmm, Hashem, you, your emuna is that you know that Hashem is always with you, right? And uh, if that's the case, so then you can always have it come up with different ideas of how you can always win on the Eight Saharas, the battle with the Eight Sahara. Because if you recognize that Hashem is always with you, right? you work on that, you think about that. So then, of course, you can come up with different ideas of, of different ways and strategies in order to be victorious over the Eight Sahara. When the person thinks about that Hashem gives reward to the tzaddikim and he gives punishment to the wicked ones, right? The righteous ones get reward, the wicked ones get punished. So, of course, it'll drive you to go in the right way, hopefully. Right? You think about Hashem. Right? Who are the wicked ones? I mean, who do you consider? I mean, because we say everything is from Hashem and it's all good, so who are, which wicked ones are receiving punishment? And how does that differ from everything being good and getting us moving in a direction? Well, I, I don't understand. You mean, so you're, you're, you're thinking there are no wicked people in the world? No, there are. But so he punishes the wicked? That's what we just said. Because Hashem re- rewards the righteous and he punishes the wicked. So some people, because they're wicked, just keep getting punished. Unless they were to come back in some way. Yeah. Okay. Well, 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 they made the choice. I mean, they could have been good also. They, they, they choose to do bad, so they do bad. Why, why is that hard to understand? I don't well, understand. Sometimes, well, because when we say punishment, it reminds me of. Christianity and reward and punishment. It's like, for some reason, it's like... Where do you think Christianity got their idea of reward and punishment from? Okay, well, there you go. They took it and distorted it. So again, again, when you learn, when we learn, you come to learn, you clean up all the mind, and you don't have any of those thoughts in the mind. Oh, okay. All right. Nimsa Midas Ane... Hanetzach, ayedei midas hanetzach atzma. So in other words, you can be minatzeach. The Zoya says that the the mid the the, the um that the the midah of netzach is 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 emuna. Okay, the midah of netzach is the, the shorish is is netzach in hoid. Okay, and uh, so basically, basically we understand now that you use netzach to be minatzeach on the on on the eitzahar. Use the mead of Netzach, victory, to be victorious against the Yetzirah. And he has a beautiful note here that he brings down that uh, it's, uh, I think it's very apropos. Shevet Musar. Ki adam nishmasai. That a person, at the time, he's going to leave the world. His neshama is about to leave. Right at that moment, right? Hasatan oymed al yeminoi the satnai. The satan stands on the his right side, and he's trying to uh, he's trying to confuse him. 
He's trying to uh, mm. uh, really, truly confuse him. What, what he says like this, Vaimelai, Kaifa b'shem elekei Yisro. The Sutton says, hey, you're, you're, a, you're a heretic. You don't believe in the God of Jewish people. This is about the, the man's about to leave the world, and that's what the Sutton does. Trying to keep him from saying Shema. He says, you don't believe in the God of Yisroh. By the Shema Memenes. And the Shema is like, <laughs> he, he's confused. He doesn't know what to do. The Shema is like, a, I, I don't know. <laughs> what do I do? Look what he says now. It's possible the guy, the, the, the person will say, okay, you're right. You're right. Possible. The person will say, you're right. My the cunningly not so many. So what they, what's the te- what, what can you do to save yourself from this? What can someone do to save themselves from this? Scream <laughs> You have to think about you have to think about the thirteen principles of faith. Because he's saying you don't believe you don't believe in Hashem, right? So I, you, yeah. <laughs> you think about the 13 principles. What are you waiting? It says now. What does the person do if he doesn't have that in his mind? He doesn't, he doesn't know them. He doesn't know them. He doesn't know how to say them. He doesn't know the words. So what does he do? His child or someone else that's with him at that time should read it to him. You hear this? You see what we're learning here? Mm-hmm. So if you're and ever in a place where someone is leaving, about to leave the world expires, so what you do is you take out the 13 principles of faith of the Rambam and you read them. And of course, the Shema Yisrael. But the 13 principles of faith that he believes. And then he'll know that and then it'll be good for him. But this is an amazing thing, right? In other words, you always need the Amun. The Yitzhar is always there trying to, to the very last moment, literally to the very last moment. He's there trying, he's battling. He doesn't give up. He doesn't give up. It's fascinating. It's truly fascinating. But what we need to do is, we have, we have to use, we have to uh, uh, strengthen the Yud Gimel Midas, the Yud Gimel Midas uh, uh, of, of, our, 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 of our, our, our faith, right? The Yud Gimel Midas of, 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 of belief. All right, yeah, that's a that's an amazing idea. You want to say something? I think the Yitzhar probably is getting into a fight with the Malachamons. Yeah, he is the same. Not the same. He's the same guy. Okay, so yeah. I think the Malachamons, the way I understand the Malachamons, is, 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 is an angel, mm-hmm. and he sent to Vakti the Neshama Shemayim, mm-hmm. which good job actually. But the Sutton says, look, wait, you know, I gotta get this guy to be a fight for him before you take him. Well, I don't know, that's the way I see it. Right? That's what, okay, either way, okay, we're fine. It, it, it's either way, but basically we got an idea what to do is you read over the 13 principles of faith and, and that can help the, so the, the Neshama is, is all confused and it can, it can, the Neshama can feel more, more at ease. The Neshama is more at ease with, 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 the, with the words of belief. Because again, we hope that the person does believe, right? Okay, now um, he said in, in, in the day of 25, Kenyan Torah is ha-semeach b'chelkai. a b'chelkai. A person is supposed to be happy with his lot. Right? He that's happy with his lot is a happy person, right? Right? Because again, he believes that everything he has was given to him by Hashem. And if it was given to him by Hashem, he has exactly what he needs. So, of course, he'll be happy with what he has. Now, today's day is Hayoyim Shisha Ve'esrim Yoyim. Shem Shloysh Shvois Ve'chamishu Yom Lomer. Today is the 26th day, which is, three, which is three weeks and five days into the Omer. And today is the Midah of Hod Shebenetzach. Giving thanks. Hod Shebenetzach. Right? Hodah, thanks. To, and, and, and the Mida of Netzach. The Mida of Hod is Aharon, right? That's Aharon, a Kohen. Mm-hmm. And the Mida of Netzach is Moshe. So, yeah, you like that? We have the two brothers together today. No, I thought we had Netzach, Netzach. 
No. But that was yesterday. Oh, yesterday. Oh, we're on today now. Okay. That was the powerful yeah. Maishu Rabbeinu. <laughs> okay, so today's day. Here we go. Here we go. The person, whatever the eight are, was bothering him. And he was victor- he won. He didn't he didn't give in to the eight Sahara. He didn't give in. He was successful. Victorious. Well the he was able to fulfill the Ratsan of Hashem. He was able to fulfill the will of God. Heim Bikiya Mitzvah Saseh, whether whether it was to do a mitzvah saseh, the guy didn't feel like he wanted to put on his tefillin. He didn't feel like he wanted to learn. He didn't feel like he wanted to go daven, right? And he overcame it. And he did it. He did the mitzvah. Or the Yetzirah was bothering him to do something he shouldn't do. And he was successful. And he didn't do it. And he was successful with that. Give right away, thank Hashem. Thank Hashem. And that's why we, it was established for us in our prayers every day. By the Anshay Kinesis of Gedola, we say, That Hashem, that Hashem created us for His glory, for His honor. And Hashem separated us a, a, a away from those that, that falter, that stumble. And Hashem gave us His truthful Torah. The Torah is emes. That's the only emes that's in the world, is the Torah. And Hashem plants it in us. He placed it into us. So you can fulfill, you can fulfill being victorious on your Yetzirah via thanking Hashem. The thanks, you're always thanking Hashem, so that gives you more, more, more power to be victorious over the Yetzirah through the thanks. So it's so important to always thank the Rabbi Nishlam. It's such an important thing to constantly thank the Rabbi Nishlam. I, I, you can't stress that more it, enough, right? That's a, it's, it's one of the most important things that we could possibly do. He has, he has a, a note here from the, another note here. Let's do another note from the Nayim Eli Melech. You heard the Nayim Eli Melech, right? Rabbi in Lezhensk, right? Holy Nayim Eli Melech. He says like this, V'nira Shashem is Baruch, Baruch Hu, Hashem created the world in a way that there are pipelines of goodness that are coming into the world. To everyone, what they need, they have a pipeline of all the blessing that they need in the world. Isn't that beautiful? It's a pipeline of blessing. And it's the way of the way of the shepherd, this bounty of Hashem, that it should never stop. It should just keep flowing. Well, it makes sense, right? It's, it's gravity, right? Gravity from up on high down. And it just keeps flowing in. But if a person falls from his level, and he doesn't have the betach, he doesn't have the faith, in Hashem. Hazan Mufanais Biraviyah Bili Hefsiklal, that Hashem can give us everything that we need with no with no break, no secession in between. It just keeps coming. Yeah. So then what he does is he makes a pagam on, the, on, on, on high. Because again, he's stopping, he's causing the stopping of his blessing in his life. Now he's really he's supposed to have blessing. But now he stops it. Because the, 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 the amuna, the, the betachen, is what keeps it going. But you stop it, so it stops. 
Umashlin Koyach Pamalya Shamal Rachman Lutzlan. And he sort of say stops the, 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 what they want to do up in heaven. They want to give blessing. Was Nifsak Hashefa Khalila Vitsarakha Hashem is Barak Litsavais me Khoda is Hashefa Shetelech Kemai Mitzhila Sabriya. So then what Hashem does is Hashem commands again. Hashem says, because Hashem wants to do good. Here is where our, we are our own worst enemies. You're missing something in your life, you, you have to strengthen your Muna. You strengthen your Muna, watch, it'll come back, it'll come in. It's all based on us. It's all based on us. But Hashem is so good. He starts it again. He starts the blessing up again. The way you can understand it is if you ever did, you ever do a siphon? A, 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 siphon. a siphon. Yeah. Right? You know, you, you, could, you could take a pipe, right? And you could you'd blow, a suck on it, you put it into the liquid, you could move it over, right? But, but, but it'll keep going. No matter how much is in that reservoir, it'll just keep going. But if you, if you, if you pull it out or you crimp it, it'll stop. Yeah. And the only way to start again is if you start it again. That's the way the brach is. It's, we have that Hashem sets up a siphon system from heaven. It's constantly coming. When we keep the betachin going, we keep the pipe, we keep it, we keep it found, we keep it anchored. It's, it's anchored in place. Nice allegory. But when, but, but if you, but if chas v'sholem, you don't have the emuna, it moves out, it comes away, and then as though the, the pipe has no, it, 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 it's, it's, it's severed, it's severed from, from the, from the, from the bounty. So then Hashem has to start it again. Or we have to start it again. No, no, we, Hashem starts it again. He, yes, sta- he starts it again. But Hashem we, is so good. But we need to say, but we need to express our amuna. Even if we don't, Hashem gives it to us anyway. That's how good Hashem is. In one way, to say, yes, believe in me here, I'm starting again, you didn't even ask me. Yeah, yeah, and those, and when, when you think about that, Hashem is always going to give you, yeah. and you have to thank Hashem. He does right? always give you, I mean, he's giving us everything, it's all the body parts are working. No, no, but right, but, but, but again, David, and, 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 but he gives to everybody. Yeah. Even those that don't believe in him, he still yeah. is giving them, he's still giving them. When you realize how kind Hashem is, of course you have to give Hashem thanks. It's such a beautiful, I, I thought that was such a beautiful note and such a yeah, beautiful yeah. teaching from the Naim Ali Melech. What a beautiful idea. A really a beautiful idea. Okay, oh. Good morning, Yassi. Okay, and the Kenyan Torah today is Ha'isa Siag Lidvarav. In other words, you have to make a, a, a boundary on, 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 on the words of the Torah, on everything, you keep things, everything, you, you have to keep things separate. You know, as you don't, you don't mix things up. You have to make a boundary over what the Torah is and what the right thing is, right? And, and, and be careful what you're saying also, right? Make a boundary on what you say. There's many ways you can understand it. Those are two ways, right? Keep the words of the Torah, uh, uh, keep, them, keep them separate from everything else and because the other things have nothing to do with the Torah is the MS. And also, we have to be careful what we say out of our mouth. So that's the way what we got for today, uh, the 26th day. Always thank Hashem. By a thanking the Rabbi Shalom, you see a lot more blessing in your life. And we should be zaychut to have a lot more blessing in our life. Okay. Now let's go back to Lakut de Alachas. Okay. Uh, Lakut de Alachas, today we're in Hilchas Priya Shema. We're in Halacha Dalit. And today we're up to Yud Aleph. 11. 4.11. You got the place? Yeah? Okay. Okay. So we were talking about uh, all these ideas of, of Hashem, <coughs> of Hashem sending down, you know, the three hours Hashem studies Torah, and, and uh, we have to say the Shema within those three hours, right? And uh, it's such an important thing, and we have to understand that there's always that, that, that Kamat, which is coming from that highest place, the Keter, right? The Kamatz, it's, it's all, the light is all constricted. It's, 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 it's locked. It's locked, but then Hashem t- turns it into the Tzere, He fashions it, and He gives us what? He gives it to us in a, in a blessing form. It's already, already put down. Now, we say we do the same thing when it comes to 
when it comes to um, remembering about the rain. Right? We have we remember remember in our field we rain, we remember about the rain, uh, and we 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 ask Hashem for the rain. Rain is actually parnasa, right? Whenever it talks about rain, that's actually asking Hashem for parnasa, right? Because really, uh, uh, if you think about it, uh, you need rain gives you gives you all the produce and gives you all the fruits and gives you everything else, right? Without the rain, what do you have, right? All right, let's see what it says now. the same talamotel of racha. Right, the Gemara, the Gemara in Brachas, right, it talks about this, right, the same tal and motel of Racha. Hashem should send upon us the tal, the dew, right, and the rain, and it should be for us levracha. See, we add that in? Right, we don't just say the same tal and motel. We say the same tal and motel of Racha. You ever realize that? I want it to be as a blessing. Because sometimes I sh- we, we have in the, in the, in, we say in the Krishna, Yoyra Malkush, there's different light rains, very pleasant rains that are very beneficial, right? We ask Hashem to give us the beneficial rains. If He gives us, you know, the rains come as a monsoon, it's not too beneficial, right? Things get washed away. Hmm? What? Sandy was No, no. It worked out good for me at the time, but uh, Baruch Hashem. <laughs> yeah, Baruch Hashem. No, it, it, it really caused a lot of damage. It really caused a lot of damage. Okay. Uh, okay, now. Shezeu is zeichen ayadei emuna. Of course, the bracha, like we just learned a moment ago, the bracha comes through emuna. Right? Yassi, we, you, you walked in, we, we brought a note from the Naim Eli Melech. The Naim Eli Melech brings down that Hashem sets up pipelines with blessing, and he turns on a siphon, that they just keep going, they're just never stopping. But if we keep our amuna strong, we keep the pipeline going, the blessing comes. We stop it if we don't believe. If we don't believe in Hashem, we believe in other things, then we stop it. But here again, it, we, and it's, it's amazing how these lessons always uh, uh, you know, uh, align themselves. It's mamish amazing. Zaykhan Ayadei Amuna. Ayadei Kriyashma, Kamei Shomer be Kriyashma, He Shomru Lachem. Where we say, He Shomru Lachem, Pei Yitela Lachem, Is Hatem, Arvatem Lachem Achem, right? We say, we say if, the, if, the, if you turn away from Hashem, and then you serve other gods, right? That's not a Muna, right? Vatsar as a Shemayim, Velo Yiyamata. What do we say in Shema? Then Hashem will stop the rain, He'll stop the rain, and you won't have, you won't have rain. So rain is bracha, right? Rain comes from emuna. Rain comes from bracha. Right? We have the whole masech the tainus, right? What is the masech the tainus about rain, right? All about tainus because we didn't. We're not doing the right thing. We don't believe in Hashem. Hashem stops the rain. And if we do tshuva, then of course the rain will start again, like we learned the, like we learned a moment ago. Hainu kishepoygim beemuna beemitzayir in or levracha. If a person is paigim and emuna, and he's not saying the Shema, and he doesn't believe in the Kayach of the Shema, and he doesn't believe in the Kayach that Hashem, he says the Shema in the right time, and Hashem will send him down the bracha the way he needs it. That's where all curses come from. When you don't believe in Hashem, you don't do your mitzvahs, you don't do them besimcha. Right, we said the whole idea of Krishna is doing is saying the Shema besimcha. Remember, because it's all about simcha, right? If not, you get all those curses. Takas Hashem leyavad the besimcha v'tuv leva. Right, all the curses in the Torah that we that Hashem lists for us is why? Because you didn't have simcha, you weren't happy. So we have total control over our own cipher, over our own funnel. Of yeah, stuff. but it, as soon as we lose our muna, it. It shuts off. It shuts off. And then, and then we suffer. And then we see, exactly. <clears throat> and that happens with everything in life. Yeah. yeah. It's every avenue in life. Anything that you could think of happens that same way. It's all about emuna. Where did the, when there was the whole, the whole idea that the earth got cursed. Why was the earth cursed? Because Adam, um. right? Why did Hashem curse the earth? Because Adam and Chava, they had one mitzvah, right? One mitzvah Hashem gave them, just one mitzvah. 
don't eat from that tree. Emuna, in that one mitzvah. It's fascinating. If you think about it, it's really, truly fascinating. Emuna in one mitzvah. So it's like the Yitzhak you were describing earlier. Yeah. Uh, at death, at the time of death, he whispered the Yitzhak was there and turned him away from the... Uh, he wants to turn him away from Hashem, right? Yeah, right, at yeah, the last yeah, moment, right? Yeah. At the last moment, the person's like, Kamei Shem Rabbi Seinuza, Vaznit Steyer HaMotar, the rain only comes because we have emuna. Isn't that so amazing? Isn't that, I think that's so amazing. I mean, that's why the scientists try to figure out how to make water from other things because they don't want to have to have the emuna in Hashem in the rain, right? Is that right, Yossi? They do the desalinization plants and all of that stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, that's right, because people said there's a cheetah out there. Right, we, we don't, we, what do we need rain for? He says, yeah, you cut, cut that stuff out. Right? You don't we don't need rain anymore. anymore. We don't need to say it anymore. We, we, we can make water. But the water from the desalination is not the same quality at all. Of course, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> it works, you know. It, it. <laughs> yeah, Kamei Shavra by Seinuzal. As as Chazal teaches, a day is there, and it's tired all of Rocha, Bechinus Gishme Bracha, Bechinus Vesein Talamata, live Rocha. That's the most important thing. Vesein Talamata, live Rocha. I want the rain to come down. It should be a blessing. You got that? Is that amazing? It's all about the Bracha. So we talked about that we need Bracha in our lives, and then when we pray, we say Bracha. The same when we say Shema Yisol Hashem Elkeinu Hashem Elchad, we say Baruch Shem Kivod, right? We say Baruch, right? We talk about Baruch over there. So now we're talking about the rain. It's also about the bracha. Now, there's something that we do is we have two things. We have the remembrance of the rain, right? That we say in the in the bracha of, of Mechayim Mesim, right? We have the we remember rain. Right, right, do you know that, right? We say we, we remember the rain, but we don't ask for parnasa there. We ask for rain, but we don't ask for parnasa. Right, we say the same talumata, right? But levrocha, right, that we say, right, now we say the same talumata, right? Now we say the tal. No, now we talk about tal. Right, talumata, that's in, that's in the bracha, baruch aleinu, right, right. Vishelas Kishavim, and the next one is is the 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 request for for uh, uh, for the rain is actually in the bracha Baruch Aleinu, right? Ovein Haskara Vishela Nimshuch Hemshuch Zman. So there's a little bit of time in between the two, right? From the time you say Mechaya, right? The bracha when you're asking for when you're talking about remembering about the rain, you're remembering about it. To the time you're asking from it, there's a little bit of time in between, right? Depending. Sometimes it could be two, se- three seconds, five seconds, it could be th- a minute, two minutes, right? Whatever, there's a little time in between. Ki maschilin liskar, you remember to, re- you, you, you start to remember. Hagishamim bishmini atzeres, vashayla yi shishis yamim achra tekufa. Right? So we talk about, we talk about on, on, on shmini atzeres. Right? We ask Hashem to give us the rain, right? But we talk about, we, may, we remember the rain, right? But we only start saying the same Talamata much later in Chutz Laretz, not in Eretz Yisrael. Right? Is that right? I have no idea what you just said. Yeah, see, here we say, we say it right away, correct? Yeah. Here we say it right away, but in Chutz Laretz, they start much later on. They start later on, 60 days later. From the time of the from the time from the end of Tishrei, ki betchila maskirim nagisham levad, because first we only remember the rain. We talk about remembering the rain. Ve'ain the vakshin aleim. We're not asking for it. We're just remembering Hashem. Remember the rain. By saying what are we remembering the rain? By saying. Mashu baruch amayrin agesha. That's not a request for rain. It's not a request for Parnasa, maybe. First, we're first, first we're asking Maskirin Agishamim Levad the Ein Mivakshin Aleim. Vaz Mamshichim Aor Hashefa Shel Bechinas Agishamim. Oh wow! <laughs> right here. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, I left over. <laughs> that was oh, from wow. the bar mitzvah yesterday. If I'm yeah, you missed the work. Right? Yeah, I know. You get first dip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Baruch Hashem. Mazel tov, Yannick. It was beautiful. Okay, now. We begin as kamats, v'sosim. So it starts out as being kamats and sosim. It starts out as being... <laughs> Please, help, help yourself. It starts out as being kamats and sosim. Amen. Shezeu bechinas haskara shemaskirin rak begvurosav shehu yizbarach yochol lohayri gishama. First we talk about that Hashem can bring down the gishama. We talk about the greatness of Hashem, that Hashem can bring down the Gishama. Aval ein mitzayrin adayin ha'or sheyuchol liyeri lemata ki ein mevakshin adayin aleim sheyerdu v'nitztaru. So basically, we start talking about in the Shmon Esrei, we remember it. We talk about Hashem can't send down the rain. He can do everything. Hashem can do everything. But then when we get to the Baruch Aleinu, we're asking Hashem to give us bracha. We're asking Hashem now for the bracha. First, we, we talk about that Hashem can do it. He has the ability to do it. We have the immun that Hashem can do it. And then when we get to Baruch Aleinu, we ask for the, we ask for the rain. Again, the main word is that we say about bracha. It's all about bracha. Therefore, you have a time between the, the remembrance and the actual request. The fashioning of the light takes a little bit of time. In other words, it takes some time to take the light and make the light special, to make the light into bracha. And in other words, it starts off as being a kamatz. We said kamatz is the place of keter. And then it goes down to tzere, right? Tzere is when it gets fashioned into bracha. So, so there's that. So, so when we're davening for rain, we're really davening for parnasa. Mm hmm. Yeah, rain is a, a, a code word for parnasa. How do you like that? Right? Okay, v'zeh bechinas shishim yom shishim yom achar tekufa, and that's the shishim yom after the tekufa. We have four. There are four tekufos in the seasons. Four tekufos, right? Um, there's there's Nisan, Tammuz, Tishrei, and Teves. There are four. The, the years divide up into four tekufos. Each is sixty days. No, each one each one is is uh, three months. Right. Well, so you have you have uh, one second. So you have uh, Nisan, and then you have uh, you have Ear and Sivan, right? And then you go to Tamas, and then you have uh, you have Tamas, you have Av and Elo, and then you have Tishrei. Tishrei, you have then you have um, uh, Cheshvan, and and and, uh, uh, and and Kislev, right? And then you have and then you have uh, uh, Teves. Right, Teves, and then you have Teves, right? Teves, you have Asar, but Teves, and you have Shvat and, and, uh, yeah. and Adar. And those are the 12 months. Yeah. Those are the 12 months. So this is the end of the Tekufa. Which Tekufa? It's the end of the Tekufa of, of Tishrei. This is the end of the Tekufa of Tishrei. Shoaz HaSheela, we ask Hashem for the Gishamim. Right? I mean, if you think about it, um, when, it came to, when it came to Pesach, where we just had Pesach, so the first day of Pesach, we're asking Hashem already to give us the Tau, right? We ask Hashem for Tau, right away. Yeah. But when it comes to, when it comes to uh, um, Sukkot, we only on Shemini Atzeres do we ask for the Gishama. Yeah. You realize that? Because yeah. that's the end of the Tekufa. That's the end of the Tekufa. What's a Tekufa? A, sec- a, a segment. A segment. A segment. So, so the ta- Tal is also Parnasa. Tal is, yeah, but ta- right. Tal is Parnasa, but Tal is, uh, is more spiritual. Okay. okay. Tal is more spiritual than, than Gishaman, uh-huh. than the Parnasa itself. It's more spiritual because uh-huh. Tal is, refer- is referring to also the Tal Shaltriya, right? The Tal will give you life to, to serve Hashem. Yeah. The Rishna, the Holy Rishna, the Holy Rishna used to say like this. He said it's an amazing idea. He said to the Rabbani Shalom, he said, look, you know, why, why, do we, why do we ask for Gishamim? 
Why do we ask for the parnasa after after the shmini at Sarah's? He says, "We're well, You know, hey, hey, we were we were busy with the ruchnius the whole elo. We were busy with the ruchnius the whole tishrei. Right? We're busy with doing mitzvahs and everything. Hey, now we need some parnasa." Yeah. We have to pay for all this stuff, right? The aspirin, the so the so kind of thing. Right? We have to pay for all of that. So that's why we ask for it at the end. But but uh, but when it comes to when it comes to Pesach, uh, he says you have to start. You have to ask right away for the tal. You need the tal shatchia to get through the svira to get the shvuas. Uh-huh. You need the tal right away. I need that light. I need that 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 uh, that, that uh, uh, spiritual. It's good, huh? <laughs> it, it, it's interesting you say Tao is more spiritual. Yeah. And Tao is more mysterious, too. I mean, rain, you see it coming down. Right, Tao just appears. Tao, it, it just appears. It just appears. It, it's like the month. You don't see it coming. It's like the month. Yeah. It's yeah. like the month. Yeah. Well, all right, we need to finish the paragraph. I, I, I want to, I'm a little bit, I'm just trying to understand again the, uh, you're saying the month. Mashi Haruach is really just a mentioning, hey Hashem, you're incredible, you can bring rain down. You can bring Parnassi. Well, we when we get to the same... Talamata Levracha. Same Talamata. Give me, bring me Bracha. Fine. Okay. And so, and so, because there's a gap between the time I say Mashi Haruach and what we get to Hashem and the same... Because it takes time, so to say, to fashion the, to, to the Bracha. Oh, uh, to fashion the Bracha. Fashion the Bracha takes time. Okay. It takes time. There has to be a little space in between. Okay. How is that? Okay. I would just like to like again. And what's the nakuda of it there? Oh, so, okay. 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 So, so, so the same way we said when we say the Shema. Yeah. Right. When we're saying the Shema, uh-huh. so we have to say the Shema in the right time. If we yeah, say the yeah, Shema yeah. in the right time, you we connect. Fashion. We get. No, we have Hashem fashions the light Body. for us. Yeah. He makes it for us. He gives it to us, and he, we have a nice. He, he's going to explain it more in the next paragraph. In the next one, but this is just an idea. That's this the, was that, that's the connection. And here you're saying you see a, a, an example of where, at least in this case, we're able to, I guess, fashion. We're, we're doing something here, yeah. But we do this only after we said the Shema, which is part of what we're doing, right? Which is all part of this. Which you can't now I'm asking that. because I was able to do all this. Now I'm asking Hashem, hey Hashem, rem- I remember how great you are. Oh, and by the way, Hashem, please, can you give me what I need? <laughs> Give me the bracha that I need in my life, whatever I need. Okay? Good morning, Rab Simcha. Well, neged shishim ois. Okay, now look at, oh, here's a very important thing. Shaz ha-she'ela, ke neged shishim ois she'bebrichas kaihanim. Hey, listen here, Cohen. We didn't see you today at the Minyan today. No, you didn't. Yes. In brichas kaihanim, there are 60, there are 60 letters. There are 60 letters. You see that, Mordechai? You can count them. There are 60 letters. This is good. <laughs> nice, huh? Here, you have a bowl. Here, you, you, you can have, some people get a bowl of, of, of cereal. You can get a bowl of cookies. Isn't that nice? Wow, that's good. Okay, Boch Hashem. <laughs> a lot of bracha. See that? We have a lot of bracha, a lot of shefa here. It's very good. Okay, but there's 60. Now, look at this. It's not just that there's 60 days. There's also 60 letters in Birchas Kohanim. The Cohen's blessing has 60 letters in it. Did you know that, sir? I might have, but I forgot. But go ahead. <laughs> now, now that you know that, you have to be here tomorrow morning to give us the blessing. <laughs> Talk to Yudi. <laughs> you talking about from, from you've a the end? Yeah, 60 letters. All right, so you're going to say those 60. Yeah, go on. <laughs> the 60 letters are yeah. connected to 60 yeah. days. Of the time of the you start, of the season, of the time you start saying uh, the request for rain, Re- remembrance of the rain, right? And to the time you start saying the same, bro- same talamata levracha. Yeah. We're talking about this is this is in Chutzlar. It's not in Eretz Yisrael. In Eretz Yisrael, we start say, we change it right away. How do, so then, how do we handle the? No, because here we have more. Because here we have more amuna. Here um, we have more amuna. Uh, so we don't need as much. We don't need as much facing. time. Right, right, like right. We're, we're living here itself is a muna. Living here itself is a muna. Right? Living in Eretz Yisrael is a muna by itself. And you believe that Hashem can provide me with what I need wherever I live, especially if I'm living in Eretz Yisrael. Yeah. That's a muna by itself. Shab Nassim writes, this is going on based on Chutz Laretz. This is all Chutz Laretz. Shenitztayu al-Levracha, as we learned before, 
So this is a, a nice idea just to really understand this concept that that is first is the idea of the komatz, then it goes into the tzayre. Komatz, that it's sealed, it's locked, it has a possibility, it has all possibilities, right? That's the idea, right? Like the light every day has all the possibilities. But I want Hashem to fashion it for me because, again, when it comes into my mind, if my mind isn't clear, uh, 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 clean enough, so then I, might, I, may, I may taint the light and may not come with the, with the right, right ability. Okay, so now that's what, now we're going to go to the next one. He's going to explain it pretty good. Now watch this. Now, now we have the three. So now we're talking about three, right? Um, we were talking about three, right? He said the Kaddish, 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 right? Uh, okay, and that's three, right? And we're talking about the three sections in the mind, the Chachma Bin Adas, right? So now Rav Nassim says, okay, I'll give you another one. And, and, and also he's talking about, we just finished the, the Kufa of, of, uh, of Tishrei, right? So now he's going into, uh, into Tevis. Watch this. Ezeo Bechines Asara Betevis. Now Asara Betevis is a very special is a very special, uh, 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 in Breslov it's very special because we're going to see in a moment, Ezra Soifer, Ezra Soifer, you know, many, many tzaddikim mm. were given different titles, right? right? They were given, we had Shimshon HaGibor, right? We have, we have, we have uh, Moshe Rabbeinu, Yosef HaTzadik, right? We have different things. He, uh, um, Ezra was known as the Soifer. He was such a, 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 a tremendous scribe that he was able to write a Sefer Torah in the way that the words were so clear, they were so pure, when you read from it, it just cleansed the mind. Mm-hmm. It just cleaned up your whole mind just by reading it. Because he knew all the Kavanas and he wrote so perfectly. He wrote so perfectly. So we say in Breslov the same idea, if you think about it, Rabbi Nassim was Rabbi Nachman's scribe. Uh-huh. Rabbi Nassim was Rabbi Nachman's scribe. Without Rabbi, without Rabbi Nassim, we would know, no, no one would know about Rabbi Nachman, right? He was the perfect scribe, right? So he passed away the same day that Ezra Sofer passed away. Yeah, it's yeah. interesting. Rabbi Nassim did? Rabbi Nassim's yard site is on Asara Batavis. Uh, yeah, that is interesting. Yeah, it is an interesting idea. Well, of course, he didn't know that when he wrote this, but... Uh... Yeah, no, but it's, it's it's just interesting to think about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's also my grandmother's yard site. Yeah, yeah Baruch Hashem. Okay, Vizer Esther Ruchava Basu Chaim Alevi. Okay, Vizer Bechina Sasar Betevis. This is the idea of Asar Betevis. Bechina Sholais Tsarais Sheiru Betevis Shechoshiv Shom Baslichos. That we speak about, we speak about in the Slichos of Asar Betevis. We speak about three things that befell upon us, uh, that came upon us. Uh, three three difficult things that came upon us when we at 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 the, at, the, at on us on us Arbetevis. The first one is Shemais Ezra Sofer. Ezra Sofer passed away at that day, so we lost that scribe that was able to write a Torah with that clarity. To Nifdika and the next one was Vinichtuva Torah Yevonis. He made Talmay Amelach. The Greeks. Right, Talmud Amelech were from the Greeks, right? So the Greeks made us write the Torah over in Greek, which was the opposite, the antithesis against the way Ezra Sofer would write the Torah. The same thing happened on that day. V'hischil churban beis hamikdash, and then that's when the Romans made laid siege around the Yerushalayim, and that's when the beis hamikdash uh, that, that that caused the destruction of the beis hamikdash. Because they're really all one. These three are all one. And Rabbi Nassim is going to explain. Bechinas hapegam. We can't take this light that Hashem gives us every day and turn it into bracha because of these three problems. What were the three problems? Ezra Sofer passed away. The Torah was written in Greek. Right, and the and the third one was that the Romans laid siege around the city of Jerusalem. Kimei says Ra Sefer Shoya Kaisev Sefer Torah, for who be Gedol Kedusha Say Haya Kaisev A Sefer Torah be Kedusha Gedola for him it's higher all of Rocha Bevadai. Ezra Sefer was so pure when he took when he took that quill and he was writing, he was able to take the 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 light. And turn it into bracha as he was writing it in the Torah. Mm. He was so pure. 
ועכשיו, מי יוקם בעדינו? ואיך מציין ספר כזה, שיכתב ויציין לנו איסי סתירה הקדוש ובכינס לברכה? How we, where are we going to find the sofa today that can write us a safer Torah, that he can change the, he can change the light right into bracha as he's writing it? Isn't that a fascinating idea? He takes the light and fashion it into blessing as he's writing the words. Ad shekol ha'oiskim b'sefer Torah kazois, yor e'neim. Until even when a, when, when a person can have a Sefer Torah, if we would be zeichet to have a Sefer Torah, then Ezra Sofer wrote. Yes, do we have one? I don't have one. No? I thought maybe you I found one in, 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 your, in your travels. Not since Ezra died, not since you wrote this. No? No. You don't think we can find one? Something like Ezra's? I mean, you see that if it's... Uh, you think the Vatican has it? I don't know, maybe the Vatican yeah. probably has it, yeah. <laughs> they have all of our things. Uh, about Taira, the Nakel, she Yitzayra, or the Bracha. And when you would read the words of the Torah, it just turns into Bracha as you read them. Fascinating. Because, because, because you had this uh, a proper sofa, this, this righteous man, this righteous writer, he was so righteous, he was able to take the light and fashion it into bracha as he was writing the words. It's not enough that we lost the sofa like that. Yes, do you know all this? This is so nice to understand. But Ezra Sofa, he wrote the letters so beautifully, he wrote bracha. He was writing bracha as he was going. But not only we didn't, we didn't have a Sefer Torah written like that with Ezra, from Ezra Sofer, but instead we got, because of our sins, a Torah written in Greek. <laughs> Which is the opposite, the very opposite. We keep doing about opposites, right? We learned about Moshe and Bila, right? The opposite. Exchange. Here we had Ezra Sofer, here we have Ezra Sofer, Right to say for Torah that he could take the light and turn it into blessing, and instead, what do you have? You Greek. What did the Greek do? Take the light and put it into Klo. Curse. Oh, curse. Curse. It's the exact opposite, the extreme opposite. <coughs> That's where all the philosophers, you see that, how do you know, you see Rav Lassen had this word that they use today in, in, in modern Hebrew. You, have, you, you realize that? Yeah, they use that here in Hebrew, right? Modern Hebrew. Where did they get it from? They took it from Lassen. Well, he wrote this before they had Ivrit. Right? Rabbi Nathan? Rabbi Nathan wrote this over 200 years ago. They didn't have Ivrit 200 years ago. Not modern, not modern. When did they, have, when did they start Ivrit? <laughs> About 100 years ago. About 100 years ago, maybe 150 years ago. Definitely after Rabbi Nathan. Definitely after Rabbi Nathan. Yeah, but look at these words he has. Shem ha'apchen divrei alikim chayim. They, cha- they turn over the words of the living God and they make it into curse. They take the words that can be such blessing and they just make it into the most biggest nonsense with their, with their philosophy and their, and their searching. They want to find out why does God do this and why does God do that? They turn it into heresy. They turn the word, the holy words of the Torah, and they turn it into heresy. You hear this? What, what did they? What did they try to do? The the the, the original the original uh, what do you call it? the the the, uh, the 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 reform? We don't need the we don't need the Gemara. We don't need the the Agada. We don't need the Midrashim. We read the Torah. That's it. What the Torah says. We need the Torah. What Torah? Oh, the Torah that the Greeks translated. That's the Torah they need. 
Beli perish Rabbi Seinu Zal. Should be Gemara Medrashim Hagodais. Ki aim writes in Litzaya Chas Vasholem Ara Tari Kifi Kleihem. They want to turn the Torah into their Kalim, to their impure Kalim. That's what they were trying to do. Like we said about the rabbi, that the, the reformed rabbi is trying to figure out today why his, uh, his uh, uh, constituents, his, his, his people, are, are, are picketing against the Hamas. He doesn't understand. He, uh, did I, did I yeah, send you that article? You have the article? No, I, I, as you were saying it, I was remembering. I'll send you the article. I have an article. Where did we go wrong? The, the yeah, the rabbi's trying to figure out where did we go wrong? Uh, How did this work? How did this work? Yeah, you, 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 I sent you the article, right? Right. Look what he says here. All right, Tyrant Kafi Kileham, according to their, 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 their minds. According to their minds. Haroi, that's, that's evil. Kafi Meichayam. Hapigumim, their their minds that are so blemished, they blemish their minds again with what? Because of their because of their immoral acts, because of their tivus, their 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 lewdness and their all the things that they're involved in. Shaim is shukoyim, but they're all they're all steeped in that. Moid kimifursam, as it's known, it's as well known, Kasher Haim Yoidim Baatsmam, as they know themselves. They know themselves how they, how, how that, okay. So I'm okay. a little confused going from the Greek to, like, it says the Greek had the, had a Torah. Then they talk about that is why they, I don't know who they is. I, I explained to you that. I was hearing it, but I didn't quite get it though. I know. The Reformed. The Reformed, Reformed Jews. Yes. They didn't study the biblical text. They'd study it without the commentaries. They because studied, they, they wanted want only the text. Only the text yeah. of the Torah itself. They didn't want any of the, anything else. Only the Torah, not any commentary. No Torah Shabal Peh. The reform. No Torah Shabal Peh. They made Which, the, same, the, the same cycle as the Sad, Sadducees did. The yeah, Sadducees. same idea, same idea, same so, idea. And then they said because of their evil vessels. The, like the children have evil, evil vessels? No, with their minds. Oh. They did this because their minds were so, so, so polluted. So they're taking the light and they're constantly taking the light and turning it into more, and more curses. They're not turning into blessing. Because they were so, so defiled, that's why they came up with this idea, to do this. They were so involved, steeped in the, in the ideas of the Greek. Right? We had, okay. we had, what, were those, what, were the, what were the Jews that followed the Greeks? What were they called? Uh. Sadducees? No, 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 no. no. Hellenists, the Hellenists. Hellenists, that they oh, were them, right? The, the Hellenists. So these were these Hellenists that said that we, we, we have to follow, we go after, the, we, they, they follow the Greek culture. So the Greek culture, so they read the Torah in Greek. And the Reform even took their name. And, and they the went even further. And the Protestant Reformation came right before they took it. They just followed them. They, they followed them. 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 Therefore, they don't want their children to study the Gemara. They don't want their children to study any of the Medrash. They don't want them to understand the beauty of Torah and how to understand really the Torah. So that's because then they might learn something. They may they may get close to God. They may, close to God. They may get close to God, right? That's the whole point. Yeah. Okay. or Torah because the Chazal they started to turn the Torah. They started to explain the Torah to turn it into blessing. They tried to turn it. They they made it into good. So we believe that we have to study. We study uh, 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 the, the, the Torah. We study the Gemara. We study the, the Zayar. We study all the Midrashim, everything else that comes with the Torah. And that's how we can, that enhances the Torah. That enhances the Torah and it turns it into Bracha. Now, V'zeh Bechinas Churban Beis HaMikdash. So now let's go to the Beis HaMikdash. We said there were three things that happened. First, Ezra Sofer passed away on that day, right? The, the, the proper scribe that was able to write, that was able to write a Sefer Torah, that he, he, as he was writing, and he turned the words into blessing. As he was writing the words. Fascinating. Not only did we have that, the second one was that the Greeks translated the Torah into Greek. Wow. Now the third one was that the Romans laid siege 
around your Jerusalem, and that was which was what led which what led to the destruction of the base Amigdash. Okay. In the base of Migdash, the, 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 the priests, the Kahanim, they were serving, they were doing their service in the base of Migdash. The same way the Kahanim, have to, when they come to Shul, they can give blessing today too, right? When they come to Shul, they can give blessing. Value days there. And they were able to draw all bounty, all blessing into the Jewish people through their avoda, through their service. They were taking the light and they were fashioning into blessing. The same way when the Kohen gives the, uh, the blessing today, like we just learned, the 60, the 60, 60 letters in the Birchas Kahanim, connected to the 60 days of ta- taking the bracha, taking the bracha and mimitzayir it into, and t- fashioning it into bracha. Ki Kahanim, heim bechines kamatz. The Kahanim are the kamatz. They, like we said, that the, ko- the Kohen does the kamitza, right? The ko- remember we said about the kamitza, the flour, right? The Kohen put his hand into the flour mix with the oil and the incense, right? He took that, he mixed it, and he took the kamitz and he made a kamatz. He closed his hand. He closed his hand. And whatever was in the middle, whatever was staying in the middle, that was, was the kamatz. That was the kamatz. The kayin is mamash, the kamatz, and that's why he did the kamitz. How do you like that? The kohen did the kamatz, he's a kamatz, and that's why he does the kamitz. The kamatz... Therefore, the kohen has the proper ability to turn to, to turn the um to turn the 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 light into blessing through their service, through them serving Hashem. The way the kohen does it, he's able to take the light and fashion it into blessing. The same way Hashem does. So if, if the Kohen can turn away the blessing, how come out outside the Kutzal uh, Yudah out of Israel? They, they, they only do it on the high holidays. They can't stand the blessings. What do you mean? <laughs> it takes no, too no, much light. No, they didn't have permission to do it. We don't have permission to give the blessing outside of Israel. It was only, it's, only, only that, uh, it's only because of the Vilna Gon, because of the Vilna Gon is why we have Birchus Khanim here in Israel today. You know that, right? <laughs> yeah, it was only the, it was because of the right. Is that right, Yossi? The Vilna Gaon decided that that, that 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 in Israel he sent his students over to Israel. He sent his students over. and He told them in Israel you can do the birchas kahana, and that's why we all do that today, right? But we do do it at the at the some of the chagim. We do it. In, in, in Chutzlaris, they do it on, only on the Chagim, only on the right. Chagim. Well, what did they? What did the Vilna do when he was not in Israel? They didn't do it at all. They didn't. Do, no, no. The Persians do it uh, every, every day. Every day, yeah. no matter where they are. In, uh, yeah. I was. I didn't know. I had a hotel. I had a minion in um, at a hotel, and uh, the Persian who went to do the Tzilah Yadayim. No, that that's their minute. Okay, they have that. Okay, why? The Temanim here do not do it, and in the states don't do it. But I think the Syrians do it also. Syrians also. So that's they have their minute. Okay, listen, they're doing what they're supposed. To. That's the, that's their minute. Be a day, they have. That's what they do. If we had the priestly blessing. I don't know, why, what would there be a reason for not doing it? I mean, if we can bring more light and bless people, why wouldn't we just... Well, they, 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 you, you still, they do still say the Birchaz Kahanim without the Kohen, like we have to do here because our Kohen doesn't show up, right? So why are you asking the questions about the Kohen and when he don't show up to give us the blessing? <laughs> you're here in Israel, you're not doing the blessing. You want to know about outside Israel? This is Come on! <laughs> Come on, right? Come on, right? You have to talk to the people in charge. I'm talking to you. It has nothing to do with them. It's only to do with you. It has nothing to do with them. They won't let me in. They'll let you in. You, you come in. <laughs> I come in, and we all came into the show. It was no Late. problem. You come in whenever. So you come in whenever you can. 
But you have, you'll be able to come in at least in time in order to say the Birch Haskanim. Right? They let you in early enough to do that, right? Okay. Zebachinus Birch Haskanim She Masra Hatayra Lahem. The Torah gave it over to the Kayhanim, Levarech Es Yisrael, to give blessing to Klaiso. Kiem Yechelim Laham Shechaor Mi Kometz Letzere. Because the Kayan could take the Kometz and they could turn it into the Tzere. The, com- the Kohen can fashion the light, can take the light, that light that's not, that hasn't been, that hasn't been conditioned. And the Kohen can condition the light into blessing. What, what's the Tzere? Tzere is the, is the vowel, the two dots. Oh, okay. We said Tzere is like, you, you, like, like the, is, is like the world of Yetzirah, from Lemitzayah to, 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 to fashion. It gets fashioned into blessing. Bina. What? Bina? Not Bina, no, not Bina. That, it, says, mi- tzere, it says, that's not Tzere? Tzere, yeah, Tzere is Bina, yes. Tzere is Bina in the, on the chart, in that chart. But, we're, but here we're showing the Kamats and the Tzere. Okay, the, 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 don't worry. Kim avoyah mizeh le'el behilchas birchas ha-toira behilchas pesach ayin sham. So Rav Nassim will talk a little bit more about this as we go along. Lekutei halachas, we'll see more about this in hilchas pesach and, and so on. But this is the idea so far in regard to Kriyashma. The same way Hashem is fashioning the light. When you say the Kriyashma in the right time and you, you miyachet Hashem's name during the proper time in the first three hours of saying Shema, Right? So then now, now we just said, we just learned about three things, because three, right? The first three hours, we say Kadosh, 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 three sections of the mind, Chachma bin Adas. So then we learned about three, the three calamities that happened to us on, on, on uh, Asar Beteves. Right? The three calamities, Ezra Sofer uh, passed away. He was the Sofer that was able to write. And when he, he wrote, the, when he wrote, he took the, he took his, he took the light, and he fashioned it into blessing. The Kamats, and he made it into Tzere. So to the Kohanim, when they say the Birchas Kohanim, right, it's the 60, 60 letters connected to the 60 days, right? And the, and, the, and the Kohanim do the same thing, the Kohanim, because they are not to do the Kamitsa. When they do the Kamitsa, is they're fashioning, they're fashioning the light from light that's, un, that's, unfa- that's, un, uh, um, that's un, unprocessed. Unprocessed light, they process it into br- blessing. Okay, makes sense. I don't remember the sixty days. Where's that? Where'd that come? Because we were talking about ninety days at first. It's sixty days from the time that we that they in 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 Chutzlar, It's from the time that they start saying when they when they make oh. mention of the of the rain until they start okay. asking for the rain. Is sixty days later. Okay. All right, let's go. We have we have a few more men. We can learn a little more. Okay, Yud Gimel. Zeh bechinas karbana shayimim kaidem atvila. Okay, so now we're going. Now we're Rab Nassim switching it back again, and now we're going to learn about the karbanos uh, um, um, that we say in the, uh, in our tefila. Right? We remember we learned about the the the, the, the sections of tefila. Right? This first section is in tefila where we say karbanos. We're in this world, in the world of Asiya. Right, then we go to the world of Yetzirah, then we go to the world of Bria, then we go to the world of Atzilut, and then we, we start going back down from Bria, Yetzirah, back to Asiya, right? Remember like that, right? So now we learn a little about, about Karbanas. So we say that in the, in the morning, it's, it's Chaval that in, here we, we don't do this, right? In, 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 uh, in Chutz Laretz, in all the, in all the shuls, they always say the Shema, they start with brachas in shul, right? And then they do, and then they say, and then they say the Shema, right? You know what I'm talking about, right, Yossi? Right? And then they do karbanas, and then they, and then they, and then they, and then they, and then they go on. But here, we just start with Rabbi Shmuel Amr. We miss all of that. Which, which is really chaval. Who does the karbanas in the United States? Who's, who's they, they, say, they say the karbanas, so whatever. I don't remember. A, a, a bridge version. <laughs> But okay, there is, you know, in your sitter, if you take out your sitter, okay, here we can do a lezeka. I mean, that, that, that is interesting. We, we did grow up that way with, first of all, bracho. You know, I don't know why here they don't do that. that. I don't understand. I don't understand it. You, you, you haven't come up with any reason, you haven't heard a reason why the Nisach and 
It's not in this dosa. It's in, in, in look in the sitter. It has this shema in there. But no one did skip it. Even even the best of the, of them start at Rabbi Shmuel. But why? I, I don't know. I'm, well, they expect you. No, to no, no. When when they when. Expect, but nobody's doing that. They're all rolling in. I, 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 well, I think it's probably because they. <coughs> no, when you Shalai, when I. You're assuming that. You're assuming that. But like that's that's. I I, I really feel the vast majority are not. Yes, yes, yes. They're showing up cold. No, yes, so let me tell you something. When 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 I was living in Yerushalayim, no, no, not by no, 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 by Toldus Aaron, yeah. by Toldus Aaron, Toldus Aaron is across the street from Brazil. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, right? It's right across the street. So there, they do something amazing, really, truly amazing, and I never saw that done anywhere else. Listen to what they do. They start with brachas. They start with brachas. The Baal says brachas. And then the next thing you do, you see the whole oilam together, biyachad, they're saying brachas. And then the Baltfila is answering <laughs> amen to, his, to, their, to their bracha. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. I've never seen that. No, I know. It, it's nice to go. You go one time just to see it. So, right, so first the Baltfila says all the bracha. Yeah. And then, then, then when he finishes, then everyone says brachas and he answers amen to their bracha. Right. And they say shema. So everyone has the ability to answer Amen to a bracha. You, you see, is it always when you answer Amen to a bracha, it's even greater than when you say the bracha itself. Before COVID. Before, always. Before always COVID. Yeah. What? Before COVID. Yeah, yeah. You've always started Rebbe Shmuel. I don't know where that came from. I don't get it. But that's, 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 that's true. That's what it, it's a great deal. I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to call it that, I mean, it's a real... It's a bad no, deal. I'll tell you what, it's a great deal. Because, you know, some guys say, well, I'll just show up at Rebbe Shmuel. So you're really hopping around. By the time you got your tefillin, then you'll make baruchu, which is really, you know, I guess that's all you're looking it's for. It's the Evan. If one are looking for a baruchu, a shema, <laughs> which is so important, yeah. you know, shemona, straight to Heishmei Rava, call it a day. Elena, you know, I mean, you can't get a better deal than that. <laughs> earlier stuff. It's a terrible deal. You're missing okay. all the protection from the korbanos. Yeah, well, we learned about the Carbonos. We learned yeah. about We're going to learn more about it now. Yeah. We're going to learn You're more right. about it. Well, let's go, let's go, let's go. But anyway, maybe, maybe we can make a change. Maybe we can make a change I, and we can start with Brachot. There's nothing wrong with that. one of the reasons why I would come in really early so I can do all that before anyone ever gets here. Do it at home. I do do it at home. Oh, okay. So, so what do you need to be here so much earlier? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to punch you guys in the nose. That's all right. Go ahead. Okay. Vizer Bechinas Kabbana Shaimim Kaidim Atfilav Aimim Kriyashma. You have to, you, the whole idea of the, of the carbonus is, t, is the tikkun from the carbonus is, is all to, also to connect us to the tzaddikim. Watch what he explains now. The whole ma'ashe choyle b'nafshay upaykin b'yayser b'yayser. And the more, the more a person defiled himself and he damaged himself, he needs a greater tzaddik. Right? Mm-hmm. Right? You know, we, the same idea. When a person is sick, right, if they, if they have a regular cold or they have a whatever, a flu, they can go to a regular doctor, right? But if they have Hashem, something wrong with them, they need to go to a specialist. Right. right? They need to see a specialist. The regular doctor can't help them. So too, as a person that we did, he did whatever he did, to his small things he did wrong, okay, he can go to any tzaddik, it's no problem, he can be connected to him, but if you, if you know you did a lot of things wrong, you need a big tzaddik, you need a very big one. That can fix this guy's, uh, all his blemishes that he made, right? The tzaddik can help fix all the blemishes. This is lesson, lesson uh, uh, 30 in Lakute Maran, it's also a, a fascinating lesson. This concept that you need a bigger tzaddik, and when you, when if a person knows he made more problems, he has a, he has more spiritual problems, he'll need a bigger tzaddik, and based on his spiritual problems, is how big of a tzaddik he needs. The tzaddikim need, like we learned before. Remember, we learned before that if you, when when if a person has a blo- uh, he knows his mind is is uh, is defiled. So then he can go if he goes to learn Torah from a tzaddik. The tzaddik is is clever, and the tzaddik um, camouflages the words of the Torah into more mundane words, right? So that way the person can process it 
and he doesn't reject the tzaddik's words. Right? In other words, otherwise he's going to be sitting there and saying this, and then and, and, and whatever, whatever you're learning, he has all that stuff in his mind. He's not listening to what the, what the, what the teachings are. Right? But now, because they can't, the, tzad, the great tzaddik can't just say over the Torah, the pshitas. He can't say it over the way he wants to say it over. What does he have to do? Kifi mashahem srichim. What the way we need it? Machmas kleim pegumim yai. Because their minds have all the, the, the they're, they're defiled. The minds are messed up. The chol mashe yoymer lehem yia nifkam v'niskalkal etzla ma'idei kleim a begumim. And if they just say the Torah straight out, so then it's going to get processed in the person's mind, and it'll be defiled in the person's mind. Are we carrying over? This is still the reform. No. No, this is everybody. Al yedei pegama bris and how does it come? Because of pegama bris, pegama bris is is very is it's a it's a it's it's very wide ranged, right? Pegama bris is very wide ranged, right? It's all different levels of pegama bris, right? Right. Anytime, anytime we see something we're not supposed to see, right? Anytime we. We're with people that we're not supposed to be. People aren't dressed. Pri- all of that, that's all part of Pagama Bris. Right. That's an important point because there's some people that think that, oh, hey, you know, if, if there's no Chasa Shalom Musi Zerla Hatala, so that's it. There's no, there's no Indian of Pagama Bris. But, but, I think but that's Pagama Bris. Yeah. But, but Pagama Bris could be even here for it. Yes. So, I mean, yes. Yeah, you see something even that, that, that's seemingly inappropriate or you're around or involved, even if right. it's inappropriate. That's stop, what we're just seeing. Yes. Fall into the category. Yeah. <laughs> Falls under the category of Pagama. It's very, very wide range. Yeah. One, bill, one billboard can do it. One, one ad. Yeah, well, one it, could, ad. it could definitely, could definitely shift. Although, again, just to be fair and clear, I mean, the the, the, the ultimate uh, uh, Avera is is being Pogam of Of course. So okay. Of course, but there's, but there's everything in between. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And all of that blemishes the mind. Okay, and any, what's the big growing in the world today is immorality. That's it. That's the what so they, it's like that's exploding, and we're trying to we're trying to combat it. Combat it. Yeah, we're trying to combat it. Yeah, it's 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 pretty big out there today. Well, that means we have a lot of kedusha in the world as well. Right? Where is it? How None do you know it's here because it's zelu ze also lekim. Right, we yeah. learned that concept. Hashem yeah. keeps everything I, balanced. So where is it? Is it in like in the second world? I mean, where is the Kedusha that... Goes? In this world, in the world we have it. People are doing the right thing. There are people doing the right thing. And they, 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 they counteract all that nonsense that's going on there. We're just quiet about it. Yeah, well... If you want to understand the words of the tzaddik, you have to work on tikkun abris. You have to work on fixing, repairing the 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 the, 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 the immorality. You have to work on fixing the mind. To fix the mind, the mind is the kalim, the, the vessels. Right? If you want to study the words of the tzaddikim, right? You want to study whatever tzaddik you want to you want to learn from. If you want to really understand the tzaddik, you want to really you can't fool yourself thinking you could be working on you can have all the begama bris you want. And you'll study the Torah. You won't understand it. It won't work. It's not going to work. It'll come back. It'll be counter against. It'll it'll work against the person. <laughs> So where are they going to get them? So we're, we discussed this before also. So if their minds are messed up, so where are they going to get any salvation? Where are they going to get help from? Because if they study Torah, again, it's going to defile them. The, the mind is going to mess it up. So then how are they ever going to, however they're going to, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be, uh, well, they're defiled. So how are they ever going to get uh, any salvation? How are they ever going to get it? Baal Kain Sarach at Tzaddik Litachbulais Rabbis. We need a Tzaddik that has a lot of strategies. That he has a lot of different strategies. Ma'oid Laham Shech Ora Toira Vaha Eitzoy Sakadoishes Bederach Nifla Vinayra Ma'oid Ad Sheyagia La Oznam. That they can come into them, they can accept it. 
that they can come into them and they can understand it. In order to take them out of the darkness, to take them out of the doom, to, to be able to remove them from the darkness and the doom. Oh, there we go. To take them out of the darkness and the doom. You understand this? Right? You need this tzaddik that knows how to, how to, how to, how to, how to flower it. He knows how to camouflage it in a way that they can, it can come into their mind and their mind will be able to accept it. Their mind will be able to, 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 uh, to process it. Because the tzaddik, this we're talking about when we have a great tzaddik and he's so powerful and he's so high. The tzaddik goes up to a place that's so high that man can't touch that place. Man that has all the become doesn't come to that place. That tzaddik up there can take the light, fashion the light into blessing in that high place that man can't get to. He can take the light, fashion it into blessing. Where the place where the klipo, the husks of impurity, and the and the sitracha, the other side, the evil side, doesn't have any rule. He has no domain over there. He has no place over that. Until he brings it down again into them into blessing. The tzaddik delivers it to them into blessing. It's not just pl- p- plain light. It's not like plain light. The same way we said Ezra Sofer wrote the te- Torah and he turned the light of the Torah into blessing. So the tzaddik goes to that high place. He could turn it into the Torah, his idea. He fashions it into blessing there and he delivers it to the people as blessing already. The same way we said if the person has a pagam in his mind, but if he says the Shema Hashem Alekeinu Hashem Echad, and he says it within the first three hours, so then Hashem takes it from that place of Keter, that high place, and Hashem is Metzayah, Turks, it takes it from the comets, makes it into its area, and he delivers it to us, and that can sanitize our mind. So to the Torah from the Tzaddik, because he goes to that high place, when you hear the Torah from the Tzaddik, it can also sanitize the mind, because he gives it to you as blessing, not just light. Not just plain light that wasn't fashioned. This light's already fashioned. It's already blessing. Right? The same idea we said with Bilam, right? Hashem gave it to him. He wanted, he wanted just light that he could turn into Klola. But Hashem gave it to him as blessing. Right? You remember we learned that? It's the same idea. Until it, 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 the, the, the begam from their minds, it can't turn it into Klola. It can't because the tzaddik already gave them a delivered package without the assembly required. It's already done. You can't assemble it wrong. You can't assemble it wrong. It was already assembled. It's already assembled. He glued everything together. You can't mix it up. You can't mix it up. <laughs> you know, sometimes when, you, when you're putting something together, right, you have those little dowels, right, the little things. You can put a little wood glue in them, right? right you put a little glue and then it can't come apart. It won't come apart. The tzaddik builds it for the person you, that it's perfect. You, you, you get a, a you know, bookshelf from Ikea. You start putting it together. <laughs> it's almost done. You find that you did it wrong. You got to fall over here and take it apart. Right, it happened to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you missed this board. It was supposed to be that way. Oh, and you got to go back 10 steps, right? <laughs> No, but here you understand, so I'm just using this silly example, but that's something that we can, we can relate to again, right? In other words, the tzaddik gives it to you in such a way, it's already prepared, it's already built, it's already done, so that way your mind has no choice but to accept it. He, the mind can't, can't defile it. It's already built, it's already there, so the mind accepts it the way it is, and that helps clean the mind. Isn't that such a beautiful idea? It's, a, it's fascinating, it does a sanitization. It fixes their mind. It cleans it up. It sanitizes it. It fixes the mind. Something they can't do on their own. Can't do that on their own. Impossible. Okay. 
Because they, they merit through this light, the tikkun abris. And that'll help them with their tikkun abris. So what's your answer? If a person knows he has, he has a blemish in his mind, he has blemishes in his mind because of his pegam abris. So what's he, he has to do? He has to study the, the, the Torah of the great tzaddikim. Because the Torah of the great tzaddikim is there that can come into his life into his mind as bracha and can clean and purge the mind of all of the garbage. It can purge the mind of all of the garbage. Unbelievable. That of the mind. But you have to believe in the tzaddik. You have to believe in the Torah. You have to believe in Hashem. That's the only way this is going to work. If you don't believe in the tzaddik, you don't believe in the teachings of the tzaddikim, this can't work. It can only work if you believe. Belief, like the, we, we see, uh, the whole uh, whole lesson today is all about Amun. We started in the, in the sphere, we started, everything is all about Amun. So again, if you believe in the tzaddik, because the tzaddik is doing what he has to do. The tzaddik goes up to that high place and he turns, he turns it into a brach in that high place where it's a, sterile, it's a place that it's sterile, a place where it's, where it's, where it's, where it's totally pure, that there's no sitrach, there's no, there's, no human, there's no human intervention, no, no human, ha- nothing. He does it in that high place and he prepares it already as a bracha and he delivers it to the person as bracha and he comes into the mind and he cleans up the mind. It's amazing. When you understand the kayak of the tzaddikim, ki kvar mevoyel el kitsa shema shema shehu lebirches kamet sasem lemata lemalu madrega gavoya yoisehu bechinas tzere. In other words, whatever whatever is whatever is kamet over here, it, it's all locked up. It's all this somewhere else. It's a tzere. Somewhere else it's already fashioned. It's already okay. Therefore the tzaddik, since he's so lofty, In other words, to us, when the tzaddik goes up, wow, we have no idea. We have no idea whether that, that he's in a place, he's in a world that we have no idea, we have no recollection. To us, it's all sealed, it's locked. We have nothing, we, we, can't, we can't relate to it at all. We have no, we have no relation to it at all. Because <laughs> the tzaddik is so high. And I'm, we're, we're, we're where we are. Well, how can we relate to the greatness of the tzaddik? And we have no idea where they go. We have no idea. This is based on Lesson 30 in Lakute Maran. So if you want to study a little more about this and understand this concept, you can look up Lesson 30 in Lakute Maran. This is where this is coming from. Okay? He works in the Tikkun of his Nefesh. You need a great Tzaddik that can fashion the light up on high. And he can, can, can fashion it in such a way, in such a way that it comes into blessing, that it comes into such a blessing that there's no way, there's no way that human can, can come and intervene and to mess it up because the tzaddik in that high place fashions it into that light by him fashioning that light, he delivers you a package that's clean, that purges, that cleanses the mind, that cleans up the mind and helps the person with the pagama bris. I think it's a fascinating idea. But, but, what's the, but what's the caveat? You have to believe in the tzaddik. You have to believe in the tzaddik. You have to believe in the Torah. You have to believe in Hashem. If you believe in the tzaddik, you believe in the Torah, you believe in Hashem, and you believe in yourself. <laughs> now I'm in trouble. No, you have to believe in yourself. Then you can accomplish all these things. You can accomplish all these things. I, I think we'll stop over here. This is a, it's a, a long lesson. Uh, it keeps going. And, and uh, Mitz Hashem, tomorrow, tomorrow we'll finish it up. 
And then on Tuesday, we're going to finish the chapter. Show, show me where we, exactly where we stopped. Okay, so everyone have a wonderful day. Kol Tov.